Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. As I do this, I have finished my deadline a day early because that's what we have to do this time of year. Um, generally speaking, the deadline is Thursday, of course, but tomorrow is the big day. Uh, Perpetual is in the kitchen, currently eating some goulash, and he will be uh, doing the ham. Yes, ham is on the menu tomorrow. I'm sorry. Don't mean to cause pearl clutching for the vegetarians. I used to be a vegetarian, and I could be one right now. And honestly, I last time we had it, I hardly ate any of it. I just, it doesn't appeal. But um, these are animals that are uh, raised appropriately, and we buy them from a local farmer at the very least. And they aren't um, factory farmed and... They're murdered swiftly kind of deal. God, now that I've explained all that. Um, yeah, so it's just the pre-Thanksgiving prep going on here. My brother has arrived. Uh, Mother was very surprised and delighted. She calls me. She's like, oh, guess who's here? And I said, Mother, I've kind of known about it. My lips are so chapped, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm afraid to put anything on them because every time I do, I get a fever blister. Doesn't matter if it's a brand new something, never been touched, sealed, hermetically sealed on Funk and Wagnall's porch. For those of you old enough to remember, that's a Johnny Carson thing. So, um, I just thought I'd check in and let you know. Uh, here's the deal. For the weekend, I'm right now going to start working on What's My Bag, the Holiday Edition. I think that, uh, well, I think that'll probably be the theme. It's just a lot easier for me to do this, uh, to do What's My Bag, uh, especially during this uh, rushed time of the year. My brother's here for a very short time, and... Um, he debated, he toyed with not even coming, driving up, because it, it is quite a journey to just, you know, sort of hang for a couple of days and then get back on the road. So it's a beehive of activity this evening with Perpetual looking through a cookbook. It's absolutely adorable. I want to embrace and rock him gently and tell him everything's going to be okay. Because he just, he has this Betty Crocker cookbook from a thousand years ago. And he has these reading glasses and he's absolutely precious in them. Honey, you're adorable to me tonight. Do you have any feelings about it? Who, yes. Uh, that's wonderful. He said it's wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. So, at any rate, that's really all. I just thought I'd let you know I'm still going to do the live gig this weekend. It's going to be kind of loose, wild, and free. If I can get um, my brother to partake in it, it might just be Saturday. might just be a day where we hang and ask Blaine questions or something like we did with Spencer and George. But I am planning a day of game playing, so... I don't know. It could go any way. I do want... Oh, I wanted to say something else, too. I was really proud, I guess. I keep getting proud of Mike Rivero for saying stuff. It's really funny. Because I don't expect him to say it, which isn't really right of me, either. Because, I don't know, for as much as I, I don't know, get on him about certain things, he... There's other things that just... I don't know, that... I'm glad when he says them, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Now... This doesn't mean that I agree with the man really maybe 50% of the time or 40% of the time. But still, I was very glad when he signed on today. I left, by the way, early because an hour is good enough for me. No offense to any of the chatters because I love them. But when he came on, he mentioned about how the Thanksgiving is really not what we've been taught it is and that kind of jazz. And it's really more or less a celebration of the slaughter of natives. So... It's a little bit um, melancholy, I guess is the word, <clears throat> for which I am digging. That's all. Uh, that's it. I'm done. I'm really kind of rambling now. What's new? Lounging with Lisa, the video series, and has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me. Join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And second time I'm getting up for... Uh, see, I want the light to remain. And um, let me get this right, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just kind of lounge here. War is a racket. That's not a very good lighting situation now, is it? Major General Smedley Butler. Love you.